Number five, the existence of isotopes violates one of the original ideas of Dalton's atomic theory. Which one? Okay, so first things first, I put, uh, you know, John Dalton's five postulates for his atomic theory all down below here. So this is T-H-E-O-R-Y. All right. So there's five specific postulates. We just got to figure out which one uh, is violated in this example. Now, if you are new to this channel and you didn't do um, any other questions, go back to question one in this chapter. There's a playlist. If you're on the playlist, just go back for um, videos. I go into depth on these actual postulates. All right. So here, we're just going to go straight into which one violates or which one is violated by talking about the existence of isotopes. So first things first, what is an isotope, right? An isotope, we should know, I'm just going to put isotope, an isotope where you have a same element, but different number of neutrons. All right. So this is an idea in which you will have the same element, but different number of neutrons. The protons, so I'm just going to put over here, the protons are exactly the same, but the neutrons are different. So for example, if I have C12 and C14, C stands for carbon, right? Now on the periodic table, PT, we should know that carbon has six um, protons because six is carbon's atomic number. All right, so go get your periodic tables, look at carbon. There's going to be basically two numbers, right? If I could guess here, I have C, and then you'll see a whole number, six, and then you'll see probably a decimal, right? You'll probably see like 12.011. Let me know in the comments if I actually memorized <laughs> carbon's atomic average number. That would be crazy. Um, so just know that the whole numbers are always going to be your atomic number. I'll just put a number, atomic number. This is always the number of protons, all right? So for C12 and C14, we know that the protons are going to be, oops, we know that the protons are going to be six because six is the atomic number. It's always the number of protons. But now this 12 and this 14 tells me about the atomic mass. All right, and the atomic mass is always protons plus neutrons, right? So if you have a total of 12 and you have six protons, how many neutrons you have? In this case, you have six, right? Because six plus six would be equal to 12, and that's the total. Here, how many neutrons would you have? You have a total of 14 for your atomic mass. You have six protons, so what would be the remainder, right? It would be 8, because 6 plus 8 gets you 14. Yeah? So, as you can see here, these are isotopes of each other, because the protons are the um, same, but the neutrons are different. You have 6 versus 8. So that means that you would have different number of atoms in your element, right? So isotopes exist because there are a different number of atoms for an element, because there's different number of neutrons. So which one does that violate as far as Dalton's five postulates? It would be the one that talks about elements. So this one is all about number two. And number two, Dalton's postulate says, that a element consists of only one type of atom, and all atoms are identical in a single element. Isotopes, however, you could have different atoms, right? Because you have different number of neutrons. 
So this idea that not all carbons are created similar, right? There could be carbon 12s out there. There could be carbon 14s. So not all element is created the same, right? So there's different atoms because you have different neutrons, which gives you this whole idea of the isotope. So which one is violated? We'll say Dalton's second postulate. And you should postul postulate, and you should write down the full postulate, right? So just say that, you know, all atoms are identical for element. That's the one that is violated. Dalton had to, I think, rearrange that postulate because of the existence of isotopes. All right? So I hope this helped, guys. If it did, hit that like button and tell us in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. We do get back to everyone that comments to us. So um, thank you for that. And I'll see you guys all number six. All right? See you later.